Hello and welcome back to Enlighten Us, your easy path to learning Arabic grammar. You are joining us for lesson five. Today we are looking at pronouns الدمائره. Let's remind ourselves of the English pronouns. Now in English there are seven commonly used pronouns. We have he, she, they and it when we're referring to the third person. We have you for the second person and we have I and we. In Arabic, we have something similar. We have something uh, quite similar, but just a few more. So we have huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, enta, entoma, entum, enti, entoma, entunna, ana, nahnu, nahnu. This set we refer to as standalone. Adama'irul munfasila. Munfasila means separate. In terms of separation, the second, uh, sorry, the first and the second rows are for your third person, and they are termed adama'iru lil ghaib. The literal translation of ghaib. Is, is absent. So these are pronouns for the one that is absent. The third and fourth rows are الدمائره للمخاطب. So for the second person. مخاطب uh, means being addressed. So these are the pronouns for the one being addressed. And lastly, the last row, الدمائره للمتكلم these are for the first person and then mutakellim means the one speaking. So these are the pronouns for the one speaking. There are additional separations as well. So the first column is for the mufrad, it's for singular. So whether it's the first person, second person or third person, if there's only one, we use these pronouns. The second column is for the muthenna. So if there's two, these are the pronouns that we use. And the last column, the third column, that's for the jam, for the plural, so where there is three or more. And again, there's a further separation in terms of gender. So the first and the third rows are for the masculine. The second and the fourth are for the feminine. And as I'm sure many of you noticed, for the first person, the last row, whether it's feminine or masculine, whether it's a female or, or male, we use the same pronouns. Now let's move on to the second set of pronouns, which we often call the possessive pronouns, because they're usually used to show that an item belongs to us or belongs to someone else. And let's remind ourselves of the English ones. So for the third person, we might use his, hers, theirs, its. For the second person, we may use yours. And for the first person, my or mine and ours. And again, we have something similar in Arabic. So we have huwa, huma, hum, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, i, na and na. We term these ones الدمائرو متصلة. متصلة means to be joined or connected. And it's because these don't come before the word or after the word separately. Rather, they are joined to the word. They're attached to the usually an ism or a fil. And this will become clearer as we do more lessons. And I'll, and I'll bring it to attention every time we have a uh, uh, one of the dama'irul متصلة. Again, we have a similar separation. So the first and the second rows are your dama'iru uh, lil your third person. Your second um, person are, is in your third and your fourth row. And these are, again, your dama'iru lil muhatab. And then the first person, the very bottom row. And it's a similar separation in terms of number. So the first column is for the mufrad, for the singular. The second column is for the muthenna, the jewel. And the last column is for the jam, the plural. And again, for the gender, we have the same um, separation where you've got the masculine and then you've got the pronouns that you use for the feminine. 
And again, it's the same thing for the feminine and the masculine. We use the same pronouns. Right, so we have come to the end of our lesson. You are introduced to two types of pronouns, the standalone, the attached, and as always, wherever there's a chart, there's an instruction to memorize. Go back and memorize both sets of, of pronouns. Thank you for joining us for this lesson. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Do check out the description box for additional resources and see you in the next one, inshallah. Goodbye.